with the after show with Wendy Osefo and Lonnie Love. Lonnie's the new yeah. voice of Bridezilla on WeTV on Thursdays at 10. You can always Yay. hear on the reel. Um, hey, Wendy, are you, do you have a regular, um, do you have a regular pundit gig that on, on, with a specific channel or we just find you everywhere? You find me everywhere. So wherever they need my expertise, I get called in to give my commentary, which I think is amazing because my full-time job is being a professor. So I don't have necessarily the bandwidth to be able to be situated in one place, but yeah. wherever they call me, I go. Very good. And yes. You give great commentary. You give great commentary. Oh, thank we you. We need more diverse voices. So keep going, Doc Wendy. I agree. I oh, love following you, you on Twitter. I'm so proud that you're a housewife. I love. I love oh. your political commentary. Oh, thank you, Andy. Thank you, Lonnie. I appreciate that. Um, Lonnie, um, tell me about Diana Ross driving through your neighborhood, waving to everybody. Because I've never heard this story, and I'm a huge Diana Ross fan, like the biggest. So tell me. You know, I have a book out called I Tried to Change. You don't have to. It's a memoir. I know. Um, and by the way, I loved your interview with Bevy Smith about, about your memoir. It was really I good. I love Bevy. Yeah. I love her. But basically, when I was growing up, Diana Ross is from the same projects that I was from. And when I was a little girl. Are you from the Brewster um, Projects? I'm from the Brewster Projects, Detroit Ooh. all day. The D. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The, the D. D. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and she, mm -hmm. when I was a little girl, she used to ride through after her concerts, and that really influenced me. She would, she would come, wow. she would stop, she would wave, and everything. So it was just a wonderful thing. And she's always been. I finally was able to see her and meet with her. Thank you, Tracy Ellis Ross, her daughter. And um, I was able to tell her, and it was just a wonderful time. And she's a wonderful woman. Oh, that's great. Great. I love Amazing. that. Oh. Um, Diana Ross and I share a teleprompter operator. That's as close as I've gotten to Diana Ross. <laughs> um, okay, okay. Wendy, Elijah Kay wants to know, besides yourself, which of the Potomac ladies would you say is the most and least politically attuned? Ooh. 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 Okay, Ooh. the most top, I would say, okay, so Candace and Giselle super politically attuned. Um, the bottom would have to be Karen. Y'all want me to say that's something? That's because she's selling perfume. <laughs> no, that's She's selling right. perfume. No, no, no. That's, no, that's think, why. No, I think busy I selling think perfume. Karen, stop it. Karen, yeah. Yep, Karen. Okay. Um, Lonnie, <laughs> uh, Sandrine L wants to know your most and least favorite Bravo Liberty to have come on the reel. Oh, wow. Ooh, the most, ooh, the most, well, I think is Nene. You know, Nene was, she's co-hosted, she's done all that kind of stuff. So I think she's the most, at, you know, cause her ratings are up the least. I don't have to check the ratings, but it's probably one of the white ones, to be honest, because we have a diverse show. <laughs> Sorry. I'm I'm just being truthful. It's probably one of them. Lonnie, I don't Lonnie does not <laughs> fuck with white people. <laughs> no, that's not true. I have a white boyfriend. Oh, she insane. actually That's right, you do. She actually do. she actually quite literally does <laughs> fuck with white people. See? All right. We're gonna leave it there. I want to thank Wendy and Lonnie and our great audience for more. Click around BravoTV.com. It's great to be back, guys. Woo! Woo!